I think that gives you an indication of just how cold it is this morning. So we've woken up, it feels like two degrees and kayaks are iced out. The sun isn't coming up though, so uh, let's get cracking. Well, freezing start to the day today it is three degrees at the moment and we're gonna head to Lake Fyans and then that will be our trip here. And uh, hopefully we get onto a few cracking fish and hopefully it warms up because it's bloody freezing. <laughs> Where's it going? It's bloody fast. Well, we've arrived at Lake Fyans, and this is one of my favorite freshwater fishing destinations in all of Victoria. Tranquil waters, you've got all of those trees and timber in the water, and you've got that stunning backdrop of the Grampians of Halls Gap. There are some big fish in this system, so we had half a day fishing at Lake Lonsdale. We caught plenty of redfin, but the big one eluded us. Maybe it's out there. Let's get cracking. So we are rigged and ready after a night of a couple of quick repairs. And this is spectacular. Look how clean this water is. It's just so, so nice. And hopefully out there awaits some big fish. this that's not too shallow underneath no that's grouse Woo. fish the structure it's always the key fish the structure I mean have a look at this doesn't get any better than that
Oh, big fish. Here we go. Oh, I've got a big fish on here. What do we got? Oh, it's a huge ready. Yes! Yes! Woo! Big one! Yes! Look at that. Deep down there in his gob. That's the soft plastic there. I thought I'd come right in amongst all these weeds. Sort of had to take the kayak over some really, really shallow grounds there. Paddle through with the oar and then casting right up against the reeds, we have caught a absolute cracker of a red fin. Yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> there we go. That is what we're here for. Big redfin English perch. Love these fish when they have got their fins up and they're looking angry and proud. And this in one of the most spectacular fishing locations. That is a beautiful fish. It's not the 50 centimeter beast that we are after, but I tell you what, that is a beautiful big red fin. Look at the colors. And I'm pretty wrapped at the moment. So it's only about four degrees. We are fishing in winter and winter fishing can be mighty slow. But when you travel hours and you battle through cold conditions, that is what it's all about. You want to catch fish just like that. What an awesome, awesome place. I'm absolutely thrilled. And uh, that there, it's probably top eating as well. So the water clarity here is just so, so clean. So obviously today it's glass conditions. It is absolutely breathtaking out here. Amazing conditions, amazing company, and some amazing fish. And uh, this is what this trip is all about. And we're only about 10 minutes into our session here at Lake Fyan. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic that uh, maybe that big one is out there. And that, you can see, is right down his gob. That is taken on the Strike Tiger 3 inch vodka and orange soft plastic with the integrated jig head. And that is a cracker. The day is early. And I think this might be the start of some good things to come. Have a look at that. That is a big ready. <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled with that. All right, so all I'm using here to start fishing today at Lake Vine. So I've just got my two to five kilo Shimano Poison Adrena. Got my beautiful Stella 2500, which I take pretty much everywhere. It is quite shallow and weedy here. You're gonna find for most parts, a lot of this system is sort of three, three and a half, four meters deep. And there's lots of structure, there's lots of reeds. And what we wanna do is basically just flick soft plastics and shallow diving hard body lures and chatter baits and swim baits and all sorts of stuff, hard up against the reeds and hard up against the timber. If you're thinking like a fish, if you're an ambush predator, you wanna stick in those areas where there's lots of reeds, low current, and they can get an easy feed. So what we wanna do is we wanna get our soft plastics into those hairy areas. We're just going to troll two rods out the back. It's just a bit of a scoping exercise. A lot of these lakes around here are pretty big in size. And what it gives us to do is just to motor around, cover some ground, stare at that sounder, see if we see any schools. And obviously you're half a chance as well for one of those rods to buckle while you're kind of doing this. It's a great technique to do when you're fishing a new spot. But I tell you what, the structure in the water here is just absolutely spectacular. If you're going to catch a big fish, this is a place to do it. So fingers crossed we have some luck today. And we get onto a couple of memorable catches to share with you. All right, back to trolling. fish on the troll here another one on the hard body this feels a good fish this feels like a nice fish oh yeah oh it's even bigger than the other one it's even bigger <laughs> oh no oh yes 
Yes! Oh! Well, there we go. So that was on the troll. And this is bigger than that other one I got before. It's much thicker and girthier. Oh, yeah. That is your fish. That is an absolute cracker of a redfin. So I decided we're going to move from spot to spot. And I threw out just a dual realis. It's in that really flashy gold color. And... I was trolling literally for about two minutes. I looked to the side, it was a very gentle little tap, and then looked over again and again, and that rod was just sort of, just playing a little bit, and as soon as I picked it up, this fish just loaded up. So I reckon he spent a little bit of time chasing it down. This is why we travel hours to the Grampians, and Lake Vines is one of my favorite fishing destinations, and that there is the reason why. Absolutely fantastic redfin. English perch, the magnificent colors, those fins that are flared up. This is a spectacular fishing location. And at the moment, we're sitting right on four meters deep and that hard body lure, which I'll give you a good look at at the moment. So that one gets down to about two meters. And obviously what's happening is these fish are coming out from the snags that they're hiding in. They're chasing them down. And that is an absolutely awesome fish. So the last one that I caught was spot on 41 centimetres. I'm going to give this one a measure right now, but this is definitely bigger. And, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it is so, so good. Breathtaking backdrop and some absolutely awesome fishing. All right, so we've just got some photos of this one on the break, mat. I'll bring some photos up on there for you. So the first one was exactly 41 centimetres. And this one here is exactly 45 centimetres. So that is a cracker of a fish. Everyone who's followed my fishing adventures for a while now knows that I have desperately been chasing that unicorn, that 50 centimetre red fin. I've got a 49 and I've got a couple of 48s. And this fish right here. Yeah. Look at that there, guys. So we've measured him. That is spot on a 45 centimetre red fin. Look at the colours and look at that spectacular backdrop there. You've got the trees in the water. And then you've got the Grampians and Halls Gap. But that there is what we came for there. That is a 45 centimetre ready in all its glory. I'll tell you what, very, very happy about that. Look at that. There you go. That's the lure there that's done all the damage. Very, very nice. Oh, well, how good is that for a start? So we've been on the water now for about 45 minutes. We landed that 41 centimetre red fin, probably in the first 10 minutes. Then on the troll, got a small, probably 25 centimetre one. And then we landed that 45 centimetre one. And quite literally, it's only about nine o'clock. It's still bitterly cold out here. It's only about five or six degrees. But tell you what, there's nothing that warms you up like the adrenaline rush of catching some really nice fish. So great start to the day. Absolutely loving every moment of this. And what we're going to do today is we are going to pack up about midday, get the yaks back on the trailers, and then we're going to head to Lake Lonsdale. So we're trying to jam pack in a lot whilst we've got some new toys that we're playing with. So just for anyone who wants to know, so the lure that I caught that one on, so that's one of the Duo Realis Ryuki Spearhead. So weird name that one. Very pretty looking lure. And as you can see the bib on there, it's going to get you down to about two meters deep. And I'll tell you what, that just caught a big fish. So that's got some thumbs up in my books. Let's see if we can go catch another one. I mean, have a look at this. It's just spectacular. You know, everywhere you look, you've just got these just breathtaking views. And we always talk about fishing, you know, to fish the structure and all that sort of stuff. And just everywhere you look, look at that. There's just, if you think of yourself as a predatory species fish, there are so many places you can hide, but just from an angling point of view, just to come here and fish places like this, we are very, very spoilt for choice. And I'll tell you what, you know, obviously I'm an advocate for fishing in Victoria, but there are genuinely so many good fishing spots around Victoria. And I've obviously got the privilege these days, I just get to travel around from spot to spot. And I'll tell you what, this spot here, is right up there. I reckon this is magnificent. Some of the peaks of the Grampians in the view there, and obviously we had the drone out before taking some pretty stunning footage, but everywhere you fish around this lake, 
it's just absolutely scenic and tranquil and quite magnificent big trout I think <sighs> Woo. big trout oh look at it it's jumping up on the troll oh holy moly that went crazy that just hammered it's coming this way it's coming this way oh it's a big trout <sighs> Yes! Girl! Woo! And there you go, there is a beautiful rainbow trout. Very slippery, these fish, so we're gonna have to just hold carefully. But there you go, that's a beautiful rainbow trout. Now, the strike on that was incredible. It actually leapt out of the air and was making all these massive splashes. And I thought it was a huge fish. What actually happened was he foul hooked himself just on the side here. And uh, it was splashing about like absolutely crazy. But there you go, that is a beautiful rainbow trout. And in this system, they get much, much bigger ones. But again, on that little gold Juarealis lure, that's been an absolute ripper today. And uh, we are gonna let this beautiful fish go to fight another day. What a beautiful, healthy fish. Out well, there, rainbow trout, magnificent. All right, so we're gonna let this beautiful fish go. And there he goes. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah, Blake Fyans, you have not disappointed. This has been fantastic. And as I said, we're here today for half a day. It was a mighty cold start. So we pretty much hit the water at about 8 a.m. And then once we've gotten to about 12.30, which isn't too far away, we are gonna head in. We're gonna put the kayaks back on the trailer and then we're gonna head our way to Lake Lonsdale, which is another magnificent location. But tell you what, what a great start to this trip. And just gonna troll around for another half an hour and then we're gonna get it in and get going. There we go. Just picked up a red fin on the troll, look at that. Look at this one. He's only a little guy. Oh, well, there you go, that didn't take long. Got a little red fin on the troll. And as I'm moving from spot to spot, it's great just to troll a hard body at the back because that way you're half a chance of getting one as you're moving between spots. Anyway, beautiful little ready there. Well, that's a wrap everyone. And what an awesome day it's been up here, up at Halls Gap at the Grampians, fishing Lake Fyans doing a whole range of different fishing techniques from flicking soft plastics and shallow divers to trawling lures out the back. And I tell you what, we've got among some very, very decent fish in our travels. Absolutely spectacular scenery. And I tell you what, if you haven't come up to this part of Victoria to fish, I'd really recommend that you get up here because the views are spectacular and the fishing has been equally as spectacular as well as some great company as well. So it's been an absolute pleasure to be here. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching the episode and I look forward to seeing you on the screen sometime soon. Take care, everyone. If you enjoyed the episode, then become a Fishing Mad member. It's easy to join by visiting www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member and gain access to an online portal that's full of helpful fishing content, including detailed workshops, fishing reports, rigging tutorials, podcasts, giveaways, competitions, maps, gear reviews, sounder training, exclusive videos, and much more. It's a great platform and helps to support everything we do at Fishing Mad, so become a member today.